Hey, do you just talk a little bit about that that last game and and um, uh, do you think people are, are maybe looking past you guys a little bit and, and not really appreciating how good you guys are playing right now? I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, we just prepare really well for games. Um, all of our guys take preparation very seriously when we come to the game. We come in focused and uh, I wouldn't necessarily say we're getting looked past, but we just came out and played really well. Is there something about this team that you think um, it is is different from other teams you play? It just seems that you win as a team more than maybe some of the teams that you play. Uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing. There's there's no egos, at least on on our team. You see teams that uh, other teams that should be really nice. Um, they they'll have players that either I just get off on their own island when they're not getting the ball, not getting touches. Uh, we don't have any players like that on our team. So if we're doing well, everyone's in a good mood and everyone's happy. We just feed our hand, and uh, that keeps us winning. I, I want to ask you about an incident very early in that Arizona State game. You, you get the rebound of the first play. You throw a pass. It gets intercepted. You go to the other end. You miss inside, and you still fight for the offensive rebound and score. That seems to be one of the hallmarks of this team that it, it, it didn't really phase you that you made a big mistake early and that you just kept going. It seems that, just talk about that mentality that, that you seem to have in your teammates too. Yeah, I mean, we ultimately we get it from our coaches. They always tell us we're going to mess up, but it's, it's next play mentality. We can't, if we're worried about the last play, we're going to mess up on the next play. So coach tells us he's not going to stress us out, so don't stress ourselves out. And, and how long did it take you to sort of get that mentality? Um, I'd say pr probably a couple of years. I don't know. Freshman year, you, you're always worrying, I guess, just being being new to the to the scene. Then sophomore year, you're kind of getting your feet under you. Then I guess by junior year, you kind of you know you know what to expect, and you know the coaches. You know what they'll get mad at. You know that when they yell, it's not it's never anything personal. Just in the moment. And is it is that one of those things that seems so easy, but is it a lot easier said than done to have that kind of mentality? Yeah, I would say so. Um, it's because, I don't know, I guess it's over time. I just experience. Because um, at first, when you first do here, you really think that they're mad at you, but it's just a reaction. It's never, it's never anything serious. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. We'll go to Brandon. Greetings, sir. I uh, hope you can hear me here. Just two questions. You've been asked to play a lot for this team before, but you haven't been asked to take on this type of role until now. What has taking on this role been like for you, and what's the one thing you're most personally proud of that you've done so far in the season? Uh, this far, I think, is just staying level-headed. Um, taking on this role, uh, I guess I didn't know what to expect. I knew it'd be a challenge, but I was ready for the I was ready for the challenge. Um, just, just all preseason, just get my mind prepared, like just knowing I'm gonna have a bigger role, and uh, just just doing what I can to prepare. Um, I don't know what to expect, but I think being level-headed, uh, whatever comes my way, I guess is what I'm proud of that I've grown in. Hey, AJ. What did you think the team would be like without Malachi, then without uh, KJ, and then without Yanni? And what surprised you uh, about the collective group the first five games of the season? Thank you. I mean, honestly, I, I really thought we were still going to be really good. Um, just knowing all of our, knowing all the pieces we still had, knowing the pieces that came in, I was very confident in our team. Didn't know how good we'd be exactly right away just because of the whole COVID situation. We didn't get to play together as much. We don't get in the gym as much. But I think our chemistry has been has turned out to be really well. And uh, so that's really helped us win these past few games and stay together. Mm -hmm. And a follow-up, uh, can you talk about what you're seeing from Nathan and how different he is or seems to be, at least from us in the media, watching what he's doing, how, is he really different in terms of having grown as a player after missing so much a year ago? Yeah, I think he just has this, I guess this fire in him that he almost lost the game of basketball that he loves. So now he just, he plays with, I don't know, this fire, this passion that it, it could it could be gone any second. 
I don't think he realized that last year. Hey, Black, obviously you guys played a, a, a tough uh, non-conference schedule to get this started and, and, and haven't lost yet. Um, Dutcher said that he thought it was the, the senior and junior leadership that, that helped you guys get to a strong start with the tough offseason and, and COVID and all that. Do you, do you think that's right? Do you think it's the leadership of this team that's helped you guys get out of the gates fast? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, our practices, I mean, for us to be this good, uh, we've been player-led so thus far. Um, it's really it's really on us to keep the practices up at a high energy, high intensity, and uh, we, have, we have to keep pushing the young guys along. So the senior leadership, junior leadership has been has been vital in our in our wins. And then you guys, uh, you guys, 18th in the AP poll, AP poll today. Uh, is it nice to have that recognition moving up in the rankings, or are you guys not focused on that at all? Yeah, I mean, I mean the rankings. We always say it doesn't mean much. Um, as you can see, the teams that are always that are ranked high always lose all the time. So. I think it's just important that we stay humble and we don't get too don't get too caught up in rankings because at the end of the day when it it's all about March Madness and we want to win late. Hey G, did you get a chance to watch uh, Malachi play against Jalen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just talk to me, what was that like for you? To I mean, these are four, two former teammates. Oh, what was that like to watch that? It was it was riveting. It was wild. Uh, watch, <laughs> especially Malachi, since we were we were roommates last year and just how close we were. Being able to see him in an NBA uniform, and you know, especially when he hit that three, our whole apartment just went crazy. <laughs> I don't know; it was, it was just exciting. We were we were all very proud. Um, there wasn't, it wasn't. I don't know. It was just pure joy. <laughs> what was it like when uh, they got switched on each other, and you got six nine, uh, you know, being covered by six one uh, Malachi? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I didn't. I really didn't think too much of it. It was just. I don't know, as I say, like my mind, I was just excited to see them both out there. <laughs> does, he, does it, as players, to see a teammate make it to the NBA or be in an NBA uniform, does it does it help give hope that uh, every player wants to play at, at, at the next level somewhere? Oh, it definitely does, especially if it's a teammate. You saw, you saw what they did to get there, and there's really no secret. It's just work, um, just hard work. <laughs>